All right, so let's start now. So basically, in today, like you know, we'll talk about like basics of the SAP Ariba. So like you know, we'll discuss only basics. So you can just assume today's uh, today's session will be as that introductory session, and we'll talk like you know about some basics of the Ariba. We'll talk about SAP Ariba solutions as well, whatever solutions that we are going to discuss, and we'll we'll see like what we'll see the system navigation, like whatever different options are available in this Ariba system. That's something also we'll discuss. And at high level, we'll also talk about like you know that course curriculum. So whatever topic we are going to discuss, like you know in this Ariba, that's something also we'll try to discuss, like you know that uh, in the today's session. So today basically we'll talk only basics, and I will also try to catch up your questions as well. If you have any questions, that's something also we'll, I'll try to catch up. And uh, so basically, uh, okay. So from tomorrow onwards, like you know, we'll go to Ariba Solutions offering, and based as per our course structure course curriculum that will start our session like you know so we'll talk about like slp or supplier solutions we'll talk about other solutions like whatever solutions are available in the sap Ariba. all right so now let's go ahead like without wasting of the time so as you know like what is sap Ariba? so even we discussed like in earlier session as well so what is basically sap Ariba? so sap Ariba is the cloud-based procurement solutions right so from customer point of view so you know that every customer whatever the line of business they have so they, if they have something manufacturing uh, like business or they have some other like you know sales activity sales line of business they have some trading lessons trading business so whatever the different kind of business uh, line of business that the customer they have and every customers they are doing they are performing the procurement activity that means they are basically purchasing the materials like from the uh, supplier to maintain to maintain their business processes right and since you guys are basically like you know that uh, you can uh, from the mm background you can easily understand like you know that about that uh, this uh, procurement part as well and even the Ariba term as well so to maintain all the, to perform this all the type of procurement activities like you know sap Ariba is offering providing the platform where customer can perform this activity over the online so whatever the other solutions are available as part of the SAP, like you can say SAP MM or SAP Esperana, right? So those solutions are basically the on-premise solutions. Even in the SAP Esperana, we have the options that we can go with the cloud solutions as well. But if you see, so cloud solutions is not making much differences like as compared, compared to the SAP MM. Of course, we have some simplified options are available in cloud solutions as well, or if you, you can see in the Fury as well, but that is not up to the mark, like what customers basically they are expecting. So SAP Ariba is providing this like a digital platform to the customer to maintain their procurement activities or to make to perform their purchasing activity. So thing is that like whatever different purchasing activities that a customer they are performing. So if you talk about like you know a purchasing process in the SAP MM, so we are basically doing some certain activity to like you know uh, start the purchasing. So whenever we have to purchase any of the particular product, so what basically we are doing first, we have to first determine our source. Yeah, and how basically we have to determine our source? So we have to collect the vendor information, supplier information. We have to create supplier information in the system as well. And once you will have the supply information, then you can go with this quotation activity. We can raise the request for like a request for quotation. We have to go with the quotation activity. And with the help of the quotation activities, we have to select a particular supplier. And once you select the particular supplier, so then basically if required, we have to sign up a contract as well, right? And when you will have the contract, then we have to move to our purchasing activity and we have to create purchase requisition. We have to convert in the purchase order. We have to perform goods receipt, invoice, and the payment. So these are the some certain set of activities that we have to perform as a customer based on the our need. So it's not mandatory for every product. We have to do some say all the activities. It depends. That means for some product, if the supplier is already identified, in that case, we can directly initiate our purchase requisition and the purchase order. No need to uh, no need to reconfirm that like sourcing again. So we can directly initiate our like uh, purchase requisition and the purchase order. Yeah. So the same activity we can also do in the SAP Ariba as well. So Ariba is also offering the same solutions to customer, but in the form of the digital platform. 
So where customer and supplier, they will have the clear understanding, they will have the clear visibility on this Ariba network, like how the things are going on with the purchasing point of view and how the things are going on from the sales point of view. So supplier and buyer both will have the clear understanding, clear visibility like, you know, all over the Ariba network. So that is basically the Ariba solution. So Ariba Solutions is also offering that options like we can basically perform the sourcing determination and we can perform the purchasing activity as well. So if you talk about uh, solutions of Ariba, so Ariba, is, Ariba Solutions are basically divided in the two parts. So one part is called as like you can say uh, upstream and second part is called as the downstream. So these are basically the Ariba Solutions, right? So first part is called as upstream and second part is called as the downstream. So what is basically upstream? So upstream basically we have to use to determine our source. So upstream is not the specific module. Upstream is basically the bundle of the solution.